15 Days Novena for Victory Daily Prayers Prayer 1 Father God, I come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, praising you with all my heart, mind, and strength for the victory you have given me through Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, sickness, disease, pain, suffering, poverty, and death has no power over me. I am now free from the law of sin and death. The Spirit of Christ Jesus dwells in me. My body is a temple for the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am a child of the living God. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus over all the works of the devil. Satan, you are a defeated for. I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ. I overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I am anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit to serve my King and Master, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory, honor, praise, and worship. The Bible says you are Jehovah Nisi, which means the Lord is my victorious banner. I thank you, Father, for the victory I have in the wonderful name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer 2 Father, we thank you for making us see a new year. There were many that desired to see this new year, but they were unable to. It is not that we are better than them or that we are more righteous than them. It's just because of your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your many mercies, because they encompass us like a shield and protect us from the fiery darts of the wicked. We thank you for the many battles, seen and unseen, that you fought on our behalf last year. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to have the last laugh over our lives and that of our loved ones. We bless you because you are holy and righteous and faithful and your eyes are ever upon us. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Prayer 3 Dear Lord, I pray that in this new year, you will cause me to be in the center of your will for my life. Please do not let me stray from your presence, but rather help me to keep my eyes focused on you. Let every step I take and every decision I make be in line with your will for my life. I pray I will be in the center of your will maritally, spiritually, in my career or business, and in everything I lay my hands on. Prayer 4 I pray for spiritual growth in this new year, that my spiritual life will not be stagnant, and that I will be a good ambassador of Christ. Lord, please show me the steps I need to take to grow spiritually. Open my eyes to see those things that I need to let go, and give me the grace to embrace what must be done for me to grow up unto you in all things. As I take steps to pursue faith and holiness with a good conscience, O oh Lord, please back me up in Jesus' name. Amen. Day 13, Praying for Victory in Politics Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 12, verse 8 The wicked strut about on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. Scripture reference, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 15 like a roaring lion and a rushing bear is a wicked ruler over a poor people. Scripture reference, Revelation chapter 17 verse 12. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but they receive authority as kings with a beast for one hour. Scripture reference, Romans chapter 13 verse 1. Every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those which exist are established by God. Scripture reference Daniel chapter 6 verse 4 to 15. 
Then the commissioners and satraps began trying to find a ground of accusation against Daniel in regard to government affairs, but they could find no ground of accusation or evidence of corruption inasmuch as he was faithful and no negligence or corruption was to be found in him. Then these men said, We will not find any ground of accusation against this Daniel unless we find it against him with regard to the law of his God. Pray for candidates to seek God's guidance. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that we have government representatives who believe your truth. Remind them to seek your guidance as they make decisions that affect our country and world. Send them godly wisdom and good counselors and give election candidates the strength to choose integrity in both their campaigns and their terms in office. Pray for candidates to address poverty and justice issues. Father God, we are grateful that you love each of us no matter our status or abilities. Thank you that you walk with children and families struggling against poverty and injustice, calling us to do the same. We ask that candidates running for election will speak out about poverty and listen to the voices of the vulnerable. Give our leaders wisdom to create solutions that empower people living in poverty to survive and thrive. Help us to answer your call to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. Pray that our leaders will commit to working together. God purposely created us with differences and designed us to work together. Just as the body, through one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. Scripture reference, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. We are one nation, but made up of many different parts, so it's easy to become divided. We hear us versus them rhetoric on TV and in the news, and sometimes we are guilty of buying into it. But we pray against the idea that we cannot work together. We pray that with God's grace, we will work as a nation toward unity. Jesus, thank you for humbling yourself to walk alongside us as a man. Help our leaders be willing to walk alongside each other, their constituents, and especially the marginalized. Our leaders have different opinions and priorities. Give them the wisdom to navigate differences and work together to strengthen our country. Remind us in this election year that you have called Christians to be one body. Mm -hmm.